This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza. SliceOnBroadway.com. IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. It is the Wrestling Mayhem Show, episode 691 Tuesdays. We've been talking about professionalized wrestling. I am Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter here in the Sorgatron Media Studios in Pittsburgh, PA. That's because I named the studio after myself. <laughs> By default, I guess. Uh, I'm that guy, I realized. I woke up two years into the studio like, oh, no, I'm a guy with my name on the side of the building. How did that happen? Shit. <laughs> Anyways, with us are uh, uh, more modest people, including uh, joining us from his um, OSHA headquarters, uh, <laughs> <laughs> up route 28, is uh, Ronnie Starks, the foreman. Hello, everyone. Are we in whatever faction he's representing this week. Uh, OSHA, good guys. Uh, Other things. Great Greatness. Greatness. Uh, uh, whatever, whatever you guys want a man, to call me. A man of many groups. I am. And I'm realizing we just lost the Riz. <laughs> Where did he go? <laughs> Where did he go? So we'll Riz, see. come back. Riz, us. come back. Riz, where'd you go? What the hell? Okay, we're going to, well, while we're trying to see if uh, the Riz will join us, he was literally just here a second ago. Maybe he didn't <laughs> like that joke you were telling um, <laughs> before the show, Ron. I yes. guess he's a Nick fan. Uh, with us in studio, two time. Two-time Emmy Award winner. It's the successful Saint Jordan Styles. Oh, hello! It's the first time that you joined us on the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Yes, yes. You I were was... with us in March on the Indie Mayhem Show, and you literally had half the Emmys you do now. <laughs> yeah, I had to win another one just to get on the show. There you go. It was like, oh, it was. oh, now you're worth coming on. It was the like show. being relegated to daytime television, <laughs> and then. They're like, we're going to put you on primetime now because you have another Emmy. I'm like, I get it. It's fine. Yeah, you know. I dig it. <laughs> listen, listen, a lot, a lot of a lot of stuff, uh, it's like, hey, you know, I like to wait till milestones to get people back on the show and have mm. a reason and something to talk about. And then it's like, well, you want an Emmy, I, I guess. I guess that qualifies. <laughs> you know, you'd think it would. Like, good guys won't let me in, but it's all good. No, not good enough for the good guys. <laughs> it's fine. It's but, fine. you know. Hey, uh, also, the Riz decided to join us. Hey, Riz well, is back. Hi. Hey, Riz. Hey, Riz. hey wait. Uh, can can I join the good guys? No. Fuck. Mm. <laughs> but yeah, Riz plays games. Riz plays games. I'm still waiting for Riz to get his invite on uh, drinking coffee in your underwear with uh, RJ City because you guys have uh, history. No, nobody wants to see. I, I <laughs> like I do, no, but I nobody don't. Nobody wants to. I like. First of all, I, I don't want to. Re- I don't want to recreate that moment we had. At IWC, that listen, man, you, your interview skills skills have. I want. I want. No. We need a moment where we recreate that moment and have a reunion interview of you interviewing RJ City and Dalton Castle at the same time. Yeah, because that was a very special moment. That was very special. You, yes. So um, we'll just have to get you an ROH show, and uh, there you go. Uh, anyway, so this is the Wrestling Mayhem Show where we try to talk about pro wrestling, and, and we're gonna try to talk a little less about Disney Plus this week. Although, man, baby really, Loda, the man, baby Loda. I love Disney Plus. I know we talked a lot about Disney Plus last week. Oh my god, <laughs> like a lot. I love it a lot. <laughs> but, we are now the Disney Plus Mayhem Show. Yeah, it's yep. a little bit. I mean, we've had our sidebars, but I think that's been the most sidebarry sidebar we've ever sidebar. Have you guys watched Mr. Oh. Boogity on there yet? No, I'm not. No. I, is yeah. it the worst? Is it supposed to be the worst the thing on there? The absolute worst thing I've this, ever seen. This in is my Mr. Life. Boogity from from Night Before Nightmare Before Christmas, right? No, no. I this wish is something it was. Else? Yes. So, oh no, there was. We're doing Disney Plus right oh, now. Oh no, screw that. Yeah, that's happening right now. I'll put mine on. <laughs> there was. <laughs> so it's called it Mr. Boogity. It was part of the uh, Walt Disney Sunday movies. And on its oh. Wikipedia page, it's la- it's listed as failed pilot. Failed pilot. Oh. Like on its own Wikipedia page. The original Gomez from the Adams Family is on this this movie. No. And it's about this prank family who moves into this haunted house that's obviously haunted. 
And they're like, ah, oh, it's fine. We'll, we'll be fine here. Don't worry about it. It's okay. It's not haunted. And like, I swear to God, mid scene, Gomez quits the movie. <laughs> Wait, was the original one Ro- Roll Julia? Yes. What? No, okay. no, the, no, 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 no. The no? original, original, like the one no, that the was TV show. The one oh, that, we're yeah. talking about okay. like the one that also played the Riddler for a season on Batman, right? <laughs> Yes. Yeah, we're talking yes. that dude. Big mustache guy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Big mustache guy. That's how uh, I was also, I think he were, he played Harry's dad in Night Court. Oh my God. Anybody wow. with me on this one? Nobody. I have no idea no? what you're talking about. Wrong. It. Yeah. Well, yep. I'm the oldest one here. Yeah. If you have, hey, I, you have I, a spare I, I, I 45 got minutes. I actually got that reference. Is it because that you've hung out with uh, with Lunchbox for so long? <laughs> Is that? I also follow Ernie City on Twitter. Oh yes. And also, I was a pretty. Like whenever it came, like whether the reruns come on, it was a pretty good show. Oh jeez! Plus Harry Anderson can do magic. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he can. That's what no, got me into time. it. Oh yeah, there's the poster for Mr. Mr. Boogity. Also, Fan- Phantom of the God. Megaplex. Oh, there's a. What? That's a great movie. Mom that is, is a really good movie. movie. Mom's got a date with a vampire. The Twitches. Also a good movie. Dude, what the so, hell? The so, screen like, theme. This movie. Oh no! Um, we were having a '90s date night, and this movie. Randomly showed up on like the you may like this, which obviously I would not. Yeah, because this movie was forty five yeah. minutes of pure trash. Holy crap! And like yeah, Gomez quits mid scene. The uh, the ghost is described as having a grilled cheese face. I just saw and that. And yeah, they made a sequel to it. No, oh, no. Called Bride of Boogity, which is I thought Mr. Boogity was bad. I found a free version on YouTube, and I am ashamed to say I watched it. And, my I'm god do i have new gimmick ideas <laughs> it's really bad oh boy well anyways the point is this is a wrestling show <laughs> yes, <it is. laughs> you can check out wrestling this and other great interviews we just had the main event back in here we're just talking about road stories Litty. i was just like it's been a while you know they've been traveling all over the place internationally i've been to canada i was like hey let's just catch up with the guys a little bit we had some fun with them here uh last didn't week bring Liddy, though. they did not bring liddy um a liddy what is it liddy i think he said liddy went back to africa um oh. so she's she's a, on a work study program it's, it's yeah okay. work study yeah. yeah yeah you know he's he's on vacation i mean he's he's visiting he's visiting the homeland so you know everything's cool everything's cool with liddy um but you can check out wrestlingmamshow.com <laughs> <laughs> you can also uh hit us up at that email address good times good times at wrestlingmamshow.com or him on top of it. That's, fine. that's all right. 412-206-WMN0 at Mayhem Show on the Twitter. Wrestling Mayhem Show Facebook page and group. And uh, I just put a special invite for you guys in the Wrestling Mayhem Show group for next Sunday. Uh, nice. Also, every Tuesday, nice. we are here at 9 p.m. Eastern Time here on Facebook Live and plenty of other places we are streaming. Uh, but the big... <laughs> fuck Jim Cornette, by the way. Yeah. yeah fuck Jim Cornette. <laughs> um, what did he do now? Oh, they, yeah. I, I, what's I the, think, what's I the think new thing? I didn't, he, I he ruined it, the, the, he the ruined power. power. Uh, I know his commentary was very anti AEW from last week that I was listening yeah, to. Yeah, that's not the reason. I, I'm sure there's more oh, things geez. that he's done. Um, I believe we'll, we'll get to that. But let me get through my shit. Let me let me get my <laughs> spots first. Uh, I don't think I don't think I want to say. <laughs> and if but. you're oh, he said words we're not going to repeat. What else is new? Yeah. Uh, if you're you, catching us later, do you need a ghetto pass to repeat them. <laughs> yeah, that is the question. Okay. Yeah, yes. Yeah. I get it's it's what it's ten okay. o'clock ish, right? It's ten okay. o'clock ish. Are we <laughs> past the curfew? Yeah, we're past the curfew. <laughs> like, can we say it for educa- for informational uh, purposes? Uh, <laughs> if you're catching us later on other outlets, have some comments or want to tell us what Jim Cornette said. Uh, <laughs> tweet us at Mayhem Show with hashtag WMS six ninety one. We haven't even gone through this shit and it's already Hashtag been 10 minutes and i can't breathe patreon thank our patreon supporters patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show our friends at the fan of the show one dollar level Bo diggity Woo. as well as ed burke bobby fj town tina keys and team hammer fist our friends at the poppy club that's right we changed it officially i need to change it on the website still bradley ruthers doc remedy doc uh, dave potter <laughs> you almost doc potter uh <laughs> kyle turner <laughs> Let's fuck up his name one on there you yeah. go and hey that's what they pay for let's <laughs> see what their name okay. is this week i read the beach club ten dollar level ryan clark and the manager twenty dollar level our friends at occupy pro wrestling.com sporting that's mark's uh friend's hat at 2pw uh the other week by the way 
when I was doing that work. Uh, so, anyways, the news. Are we going to talk about Jim Cornette? Do we have to? <laughs> I would love to. Is this to. a story you want to? I want to hear it. Yeah, what I want to hear about it. Jim Cornette being Jim All right. Cornette. All right. Can you, give me, can you give me the PG-13 version of what he said? Uh, so, Trevor Murdoch wrestled. Uh, By the way, great scene, great scene Trevor Murdoch yeah. on television. That is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> like like so that glad. alone. I love Trevor Murdoch. And he, all, he, mm. he just got an NWA title shot. Okay. Is this tonight's episode? This is tonight's episode. Okay. That was taken down. I was wondering because I was looking down. for it. It was taken down because of Jim Cornette, who am I allowed to say this without offending people? Just say it. Well, yeah. okay. I'm good. I'm good. <clears throat> okay. All right. This is this is informational. This is informational Trevor, too. Yeah, this is information. <laughs> Jim Cornette, not not the Riz. Not the Riz. Says <laughs> Trevor Murdoch is the only person who I know who can strap a bucket of fried chicken on his back and ride across Ethiopia. Wow. <laughs> Yikes. Whoa. Yikes. Why would he say that? Why did that? They, why did they why post did they air it? that? Yeah. He like had an Abraham no, Washington moment. Nobody flagged this. Like, is they, this, is this because we film in Atlanta? Is this like, I, I don't know. I like I, somebody is. Yeah, like it's a, it's, it's okay. You gotta take some water on it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's like on that note. Let me start. All right, drinking. we all we all need to we all need to. Yikes! That's mm. in that's uh yeah that's a big yeah, old that's, no no. That's a no. Yeah, that'll do it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, uh, thanks yeah. guys for having me so on the show. On that <laughs> show. <laughs> it could have it been worse. <laughs> On that note, buy G Ravers merch now. Yes. <laughs> that just shot up G right Ravers there. Yeah. Merch is now sold out. <laughs> I also find that t shirt. I was so excited to see that t shirt um, in the Primani Brothers before AEW. Really? Yes. Yeah, somebody yeah, like nice. walked in with that. I'm, I almost wanted to say nice shirt, but I figured it'd be weird. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah, so. There's nothing weird about that. No, nothing. <laughs> nothing weird at all. Oh, uh, geez. But again, Jim Cornette said that. Mm hmm. Not the wrist. Not the wrist. I give you the Emmy seal of approval. You're fine. <laughs> yes. You're fine. Wait. Did you, oh, you, seal oh, yes. of approval, not yeah. the actual Emmy. No, I got it. I got it. If I win another one, I can start giving them away at shows. Emmy stamp. Yeah. You need an yes. Emmy stamp. I could. Like, I start. I started to actually buy a stamp so I don't have to sign people's stuff. <laughs> and I was just gonna like <laughs> right on top of their forehead. Yes. This is a true just dick move. Just like it's whatever. Like, like little kids. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just like little Timmy comes up to me. Is like. Oh my God! You're the successful saint. Yeah, kid. Oh, <laughs> <shoot>. <laughs> Autographs. Now yes. I got a stamp. Yeah, exactly. That's uh, how big oh, time uh, I am. Now. I, mean, I, I want to get one of those. Uh, want to get those Dundies from the office? Oh, and just, nice. And just carry it around while I'm with you. I'm like, well, I have this. <laughs> I have this Dundee from the office. Does that count? That does count. <laughs> I mean, as long as I'm not allowed to, you know, I can't win that. Oh. I'll just give it to everybody in my inner circle. Just like here, you all go. Everyone I, gets I can, an Emmy. I can gift you with a Dundee for Christmas. <laughs> that is, that's a, oh my god! I would I would bring it to the ring. You know this. All right, we're doing a promo, and I'm getting you a Dundee for Christmas. <laughs> Just be like, I have no idea what this is, but I want it. <laughs> Yet another one. No, it's collecting. It's kind of like how they have the uh, Bollywood awards that uh, the Bollywood. Oh, boys I saw won, that. Yeah, right. It was like I don't even think this is a real award. I don't. I don't understand this. So. We're like, but but I've never been to India, so. <laughs> Have people googling immediately? Yeah. What's a Bollywood award? Yeah. yeah. I, so I got a call from that too. Like I had someone call me and was like, "Hey, they're still in your gimmick." <laughs> I'm like, "What do you mean they're still in my gimmick? I'm not from India." <laughs> and they're like, "No, they have an award, and they're from Hollywood." I'm like, "Well, I'm from Pittsburgh." Well, one. Aren't we? Aren't we all screwing? Uh, aren't we all ripping off Owen Hart in the long run? Yes. <laughs> I mean, yeah. yeah. At this point, yes. So, but I love that. Like, I found their exact award on Amazon, and I was almost petty enough to buy it. No. <clears throat> like they have it on Amazon. It's fifty on, bucks. It. I'm trying to think if they've taken it down now, but it was 50 bucks. It was the exact shape, except it didn't have the uh, star on the top. And I think people were going to buy it and like out the Bollywood brothers immediately. Cause like they got the title and Bollywood was like, we're shining an eye. Yeah. And then here comes yeah. the successful saint. Oh yeah. I stole their award too. So uh, <laughs> sign me Vince. Cause I have one for real. Oh boy. Uh, I'm going on Amazon right now. I did yeah, if you I, can find it, just type in uh Gaudi Awards is what I found. I did come back yeah. from my, my last visit to Hollywood or to California. I went through Hollywood and got an Emmy. 
<laughs> really? Nice. You can get, they have all of them. Like it, it. So I got, I got, a, I, I got one for like best life and gave it to Missy. Wait, hold on. The so producer you're Missy. I didn't have to work hard to get this thing. <laughs> well, no. there, yes, yeah. so many sleepless nights, <laughs> and I could have just. Went it was to an California Oscar. It was an like, Oscar. Actually, it was different. But I, still, I won an Oscar. <laughs> wow. Just get me one. I'm getting the EGOT eventually. I don't know how I'll get a Tony, but I'll figure it out. I'll just buy that. Oh, that's why we do the stage show about your career. <laughs> I'll do a sad Zeke Mercer story. It'll be a long. It'll it's be a Christmas. It'll story. be the reprise of Jordan sucks. He really, really sucks. <laughs> da, da, Written da, by Andrew Donato. Da, 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 da. I'm like no, it's just me scowling in the back like the Phantom of the Opera. Yes, just angry. Oh, but you didn't even got the half mask for him. No reason at all. <laughs> no mask. Just Anyways, that. other people that have been skulking in the shadows of the internet for uh, five years and are finally back on FS1. Uh, CM Punk came back last week. Hey, <laughs> we, yeah, we discovered this right as we went off air last week. So yep. I want to see if a ten o'clock is it ten o'clock that shows on. I might try mm-hmm. to pull up FS1 on the side here and, and see if there's anything interesting happening. Also, David Arquette's supposed to be on there. So yeah, doing wrestling promos. Or doing something. wrestling yeah. promos. <laughs> sure. I'm not. I'm not gonna. I love the there. message. Uh, RJ City shared it with. All right, I'll go fuck myself then. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, uh, everybody's doing great, guys. That's the one. That's yeah. the one. But CM Punk's back just to say yeah. hi, and then he'll be here next week. Yeah. <laughs> they, oh, yeah. They flew to California the, for that. The best part about it is they were doing the, like, the promo for the show yesterday. Mm-hmm. And for some reason, they could not use Cult of Personality. Really? Mm. They 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 brought him out. It was like, oh, here's who's it could be, and it's like the the it had the intro of the what of what CM Punk usually comes out to. Mm-hmm. But then all of a sudden, it's a different generic look. Who it is? Mm-hmm. Something you can probably. Uh, come out to in WWE 2K20. So, uh, so, so, so <clears throat> this this Fox, who is plastering ACDC all over the place, oh yeah, all over the, is place. not going to get an In Loving Color song for. Oh no, th- he came out to he came out to In Loving Color, right? But they couldn't use it in the promo, right? On USA Network, I think commercial rights are probably a little different. Yeah, yeah. they're very right. yeah. It's a very thin line. Yeah, commercial uh, yeah, copyright like, laws. Like, but hey, that, yeah, Fox may have what? the rights to it, and USA doesn't. That's true. As, mm. yeah. as somebody who is no longer blocked by CM Punk, <laughs> congratulations! That is impressive. Congratulations. Due, due, well, due to the fact that my entire Twitter feed, Twitter has been suspended. Um, uh, by the way, the same thing happened to me. I logged in and fixed. It. Wait, wait, what? Yeah, I got suspended for suspicious activity. Oh, um, sword. And then I logged in and sa- and they called yeah, me with a code you know, and that was it. I forget my password. So yes. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> also, follow me on Risk Plays Games. <laughs> oh, we need um, a reboot. But good for him, I guess. Make that money. Yeah, might as well at this point. He's got that. He's got that Fox money, bitches, as uh, <laughs> Renee said a few weeks ago. Oh boy. Oh. I just love that. Um, I know that culture, like, you know, cult of personality was this thing. Mm-hmm. And uh, it was really, really funny. Uh, the whole ACH thing happened. And the first thing he says when he gets on is that he changes the culture. And I just remember, <laughs> like, oh, half of Twitter, yeah. like, oh, Ooh, yeah. you have not been paying attention <laughs> to anything, no, no, no. have you? Yeah, he probably had no idea. He doesn't care. He no, doesn't care. No, 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 no. Punk. Yeah. Um, so. <laughs> Jeez. And also, he's getting in fight with he's getting in fights with Tony Khan. I saw. That. Yeah, the whole Randy Orton uh, exchange. The so yeah, he that. well. So Ooh. so the big comment was, um, um, you know, I have five years of wrestling to to catch up on. Uh, some good, a lot bad, or some good, mostly the women, and a lot bad. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so yeah. it's like okay, um, yeah, it, it, there's been some fun back and forth, but man, it. I mean, this makes it exciting again. Right. Yeah, yeah, this it is was very exciting now. It is a little bit of like, well, what would the, the Monday Night Wars have been like if there was Twitter, you know? And th- I think this is social it. media, social media in general, yeah. right? Not just oh. like AOL chat rooms. <laughs> it would suck. <laughs> Which is literally what we had back then. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, we did. 
It's fun Jesus. going back to those old old pay per views and say Shawn Michaels in the AOL chat room and seeing him hunting pecking all night. It was just like <laughs> that's how I trying watched his best. He's that's how I like followed pay per views. Was it was on the AOL chat rooms? Yes, like the private AOL chat rooms where uh, one person is watching. They do the play by play, and he's doing, and they're doing the play by play, mm. oh, and amazing. while the other people there are telling him how bad he sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Because it's the internet in 1998. Yeah, I still miss the uh, random watch parties at like Hooters and Buffalo Wild yeah. Wings. Oh, yeah. yeah. You yeah. would have to pay like, what was like a $25 fee to watch wrestling. And then like Ooh. they would try to sell their wings to you. And you're just like, ah. I, like, I, I, probably, I probably would never have stepped foot in a Hooters if it didn't. I if still it, haven't. If it wasn't the place to watch a pay per view. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There, there was one down the street from me. Mm hmm. Hell no, I'm not going in there. I still remember good. the one in Southside. <clears throat> yeah, that's the that one we where, would like, go the to. New uh, apartments are. Yeah, uh, I mean, I was young back then, but like I used to always go to Dave and Buster's to watch the pay per views, <laughs> which is really interesting to see someone flip out on air hockey while like Stone Cold's doing a stunner, <laughs> and like you're just like, God damn, <laughs> oh, that's cool, <laughs> <laughs> just raging as he's going along. It was really cool. Jeez, everybody's in the chat room. Uh, um, Tina is uh remembering uh mirc uh the wcw chat room on aol uh, uh carlin says he thinks there was a prodigy chat called wrestling for smarts when it first started to consume backstage dirt see i never found this stuff back then like it one i, I didn't have aol it wasn't even an, i don't think it was even an option where i was really we we're out there we were out there man <laughs> like we had like the regional providers and and like there was no local phone numbers to dial into Yikes. where Ooh. we were <laughs> so um, that's why I didn't have any satellite and couldn't watch wrestling again until 1996. Uh, oh. So, uh, but anyways, enough about that. Uh, what Michael else is Sword going story. on? Yes. So CM Punk's back. He'll stay stuff. I, I, I I'm, I'm. He'll go off the rails. I mean, I feel less shitty about like the CM Punk the chance now. You know, I guess they. Get, yeah. I guess. They... By the way, mm -hmm. a lot of people who got on CM Punk's ass for coming back to WWE mm -hmm. are the same people who chanted CM Punk. Mm -hmm. And yep. technically he did not come back to WWE per se. So oh, do they he still can't. He is not contracted. He's do not they still in the ring. Can't. So my, I think what you'll have is uh, he, he is officially hired by Fox sports. Okay. Right. But you know, you know that had to go through one man. And, and oh, and can I make a sidebar here? Because I saw this, I saw an in, incorrect meme going around this week about because Fox was purchased by Disney, that makes that Baron Corbin a Disney princess. Funny, but untrue. <laughs> Not for the obvious reasons. <laughs> <laughs> Fox and Fox Sports, Fox Network and Fox Sports were not part of the Disney sale. They are a separate entity than mm -hmm. the parts of Fox that went and reunited the X Men. So no, if they were on ESPN, that'd be a different story. Yeah, but yeah, it was, it was, it was, if it was on ESPN, that's a Disney channel. Well, if he shows yeah. up for an interview, that counts. There you go. Then I mean, I'll, okay, I'll gladly right. sign sure. a petition to make him a Disney princess. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just giving an end of days to Elsa, like at the end of Frozen Two. She's starting to sing "Let It Go" the reprise, and then he Although, comes in and just. Although I kind of want Queen this hap to happen now, so Queen Charmel is officially in yes. the fold for Disney yes. princesses. Because if anybody deserves it, it's damn Queen Mar Mar Charmel. Absolutely, damn it, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, one one more thing before I go to first break here. Uh, another like, hey, this is happening. Holy shit, thing uh, after Survivor Series, and even the article, the article I see on Cage Side Seats that talked about this is uh, I'm looking forward to this Undertaker interview more than Survivor Series itself. Yeah. <laughs> so, and it's and it's a great clip that they posted. It's talking about his debut and the Gobbly Gooker Egg because that was the same pay per view, guys. If you don't remember, the same Survivor Series, right? And uh, he's like, he's like, I'm at home. Well, to paraphrase this minute clip they put up, uh, I'm at home. I'm trying to grow my hair out and do whatever I can to make you know myself look different for this part. You know, the Undertaker and everything. And then they started putting this this egg out on TV. And I'm just at home watching this. I'm like, I'm gonna be the egg guy. <laughs> uh, he's like, he's like, my chest got like started like 
like hurting from the anxiety thinking I'm going to be the egg guy. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what if he was the one who came out of that egg? No, we, we wouldn't be talking to the Undertaker. We would, would not terrifying. be talking to him today. <laughs> <laughs> on Stone Cold's new show. He'd probably be a lot more terrifying, to be honest. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nothing says scary like a zombie coming out of an egg. Egg zombie. Front front child, like front row child, you're just there like expecting turkey. I mean, there's just the Undertaker with his eyes rolling up coming out of his egg. For some oh, reason, no. I but I see but you could do that with Luchasaurus. You could. You could. And that's yeah. what didn't they didn't they call him like 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 something taker, like lizard taker or something when he first came out? Like well, lizard taker. Dino Taker. What was it? Was it, it Dino, Dino Taker? Taker? Dino Taker? Yeah. Something like that. Like, I don't think it was his official name. I, I think it was just like they were chanting that, right? Or we referred to him as that. But, uh, hmm. anyways, <laughs> WWE's in Chicago. What's, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm popping up on. I think uh, there's a lot of stuff happening. Oh, so now, now, now every time WWE's in Chicago, is CM Punk going to come out? Probably. You, you know, you know that's right? going to be the conversation every time they're in Chicago. Just like for the longest time, whenever uh, Larry would go to the WWE show with us, it was like, this is the one where Kurt Angle comes back, right? Yeah. This is the one, like for like four years, it was like, like Angle's completely coming back this yeah. time, right? Like, nah, man. Nah, man. <laughs> and, and I don't think he even ended up going to the one where he came back. <laughs> oh, my God. I thought he was remember. there. What's that? No, wait, no, he re- that's the one where he like There was one where he was like he was like backstage. Yeah. And like he was backstage filming things but didn't actually do anything. Like when, before he was officially No, the one there. I was thinking about was he was that's he was at the one where he announced his retirement. Mm-hmm. That's where he was at. But and I don't then, think he, you were right. I don't think he was there yeah. when he returned. And then Bar- and then Baron like came out and spoiled the party and then spoiled WrestleMania. Uh, <laughs> and our childhood. Hey guys, if you're disappointed about things that happen at WrestleMania, uh, there's always some alternatives. There's things like Indie Wrestling Network, where there's a lot of great wrestling going on from our friends at Rise Wrestling with a Y, Renegade Wrestling Alliance, where anything can happen, including lots of booing of the successful Saint, which we'll talk about more in a moment here, right? Oh, God. <laughs> if you want to, hey, actually, I mean, I think we do have the majority of the career of the successful Saint on Indie Wrestling Network. Oh, one. you do, yeah. Yeah, but do. basically, I yeah, mean, it's like. No, I think you have all the matches except everything for like maybe ri- one or two. Everything rise up, rise RWA, even mm-hmm. just you hanging out with the Rev at ringside for a yeah, while. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you have the stuff from uh, PWX when we first started the pulpit. Uh, I do not. Okay. I do not have possession of that. That was a fun story. I do there. It's that's a different network. We're not talking that's about a different network. Yeah, we're not talking about those guys tonight. Agreed. Yes. <laughs> Agreed. Agreed. I'm on. I'm on the same page. I got. I this. would love to dig that stuff up, but. First, the guy removed the Vaseline from the lens. Uh, just, um, <laughs> Wait. Have you seen some? Uh, anyways, no. Just, we're not getting to that. Sure. Not getting to that. Riz, what stop. Have you been Riz, doing with stop. the camera? No. It was my predecessors. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, anyways, for good, for good wrestling and good looking footage that you can see uh indie wrestling.network indie wrestling.us like i said our friends at rise and clean uh this week's and i understand i think the tickets are really short um i think i don't think they're going they're, they're, they're going fast they're yeah. going they're going going gone this weekend for a, mm-hmm. a very special the uh innovation not innovation inclusion yeah inclusion something <laughs> i'm gonna pull it up rise like, inclusions coming on yes uh, rise saturday. inclusion those are the words that are important coming this saturday <laughs> And uh, and if you can't make it there, of course that will be a part of the Indie Wrestling Network. I'm gonna try to get you th- that to you guys so you can watch it. Since Survivor Series isn't on Thanksgiving night anymore, you can watch Rise's latest show on Thanksgiving night and pretend there's a gobbly gooker. You can just I don't know pre- pretend Christian Noir is the gobbly gooker or something. Oh, uh, do you want to bring that evil on them? The evil <laughs> gobbly gooker. <laughs> <laughs> very angry christmas in the match very... uh on saturday I, if he yes. comes out as a twisted turkey i'm in i'm good for this well, i'll message him now <laughs> i'll try to make there this you happen. go put this uh, put this out there you put that out there in the world just like the secret uh in- <laughs> inclusion revolution is the name of the show i'm sorry uh rise wrestling this weekend uh but uh but a lot of that stuff is on there um including and in the works it is in the can I just need to sit down and edit the first episode of Refs with Rigatoni. And that's a thing. That's a thing. That's a, yeah. that's a thing we filmed like two weeks ago. That's amazing. With George, Sean Patrick, and Tyler May. <laughs> oh, I'm watching that. 
absolutely i'm watching that that's fantastic uh, jo- so josh man not josh tyler man tyler I, this is the second time i've done that uh, tyler man with saber tooth former wrestler that was in the first x-men <laughs> yes it's wow. it pops in my head um <laughs> Anyways, a lot of fun stuff like that. Waffles with women wrestlers, uh, uh, the Duke and Doe hardcore memories, and uh, and uh, what was the first one we did? Breakfast Breakfast with Champions, all part of the network. There, uh, go check it out. Uh, Five ninety nine, seven day free free trial, uh, so you can go check out how deep that two hundred fifty hour catalog goes. Uh, also, Lucha Fiesta that happened across the street is a part of that now. Uh, go check it out, uh, indie wrestling dot network and check out all the other fine VOD content over at indie wrestling dot us. All right. Jordan styles. Like yes. I said, we talked to you in March. Oh yeah. You had five matches at five matches. You had yes. five matches that had gone through a table off a cage. I think that was, <laughs> Ooh, pre- Oh my God. I think that was pre matches. Jeez. Yeah. Thought, my, my entire beginning of my career was just me dying. I, it yeah. I thought your career was already over that night yeah. because there were there were roll away um there were roll away oh, that... platforms underneath the table that somebody put there. So yeah, that was um that was the Ron L. Hunt the Rev versus Chris Taylor cage match that was at RWA. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's when me and him were a part of the pulpit. Um and yeah, I'm climbing the table. We have the table set up, and uh, <laughs> we told them to get these things out of the way. And apparently, I went through both a table and a riser that was underneath that i didn't realize which i tried to figure out why it was really loud yes because well first of all i almost fell off the cage before i even got up there because i had on these dress shoes and they were the old school black church dress shoes that you can almost double as ice skates so like i'm in the back like james browning it like for no reason and as i'm james browning i'm like oh my god i gotta climb the cage with these on so the holes were very small yeah, it was and a chain link. my feet link. were very big. Yeah. And I'm trying to like tiptoe my way up. And as soon as I get to the top, Chris Taylor's already on me. And I'm like trying to get situated. I'm getting punched. And I think you can see it if you watch it on the network. Mm-hmm. Um, I slip. And I hold on like the top to get like resituated before I fall off. And I remember falling like, so this is how I die. This is great. <laughs> I was like, yeah, this, this better be a big ass pop. <laughs> and it turns out the big ass pop was me. So that was good to know. <laughs> I went it through, drowned them out. I go there and like I fall through the table, through the table and the riser, which I didn't realize. And I just remember going, oh, like, this isn't going to hurt. I have a high pain tolerance. And I'm just laying on the ground just like, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> and the refs come over and they're like, dude, are you okay? I'm like, yeah, I'm good. Give me a second. Phil Bad comes running over and all he hears, put him on a stretcher. <laughs> 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 and I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> Had me checking myself, like, am I dead? What? No, my body. <laughs> I have a match coming up. And uh, yeah, I uh, went back. I got scolded for falling through a riser. And um, maybe yeah. you got scolded. You I didn't did. They were there. like, they're like, you broke that riser. I'm like, what riser? <laughs> and like, they showed me. Uh, like, they brought it back, and this thing was had to be two or three inch thick. Like, you saw this thing. It was it was like yeah, this thick. Yeah, and it was and these were like half. like. like this is the one where Rev was um, on the table on a seat. Yeah, yeah, and it was wheeled. Them. It was it was wheeled around the the entire ring for this. Yes, <laughs> jeez. <laughs> we had we had some doozy of entrances, man. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's been some good stuff. Um, so, so you're you're involved with RWA. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, we, I mean, you were already, I think, at five <clears throat> matches in, still one of the most hated people over there. Uh, <laughs> 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 still am at still this point am. yeah it's it's uh you know it's kind of a badge of honor at this point mm-hmm. i'm so excited when i go out there and i can make the children learn some new words <laughs> that they say themselves <laughs> and their parents are like yeah go tell them that you can see like as i'm walking around all it takes now i've noticed is as soon as i come out i think they're just silently pissed that i exist because i'm just <laughs> sitting out there and the last rwa show was even worse because I came up with the one Emmy, 
Mm-hmm. And as soon as I brought the second one out, like an absolute swell of booze happened. <laughs> <laughs> like oh god damn it you have another one <laughs> like that's right bitch <laughs> cuz it, it's that it's that oh now he's going to be completely intolerable oh, me now and i did my lap where i'm just skipping trying not to slip cuz i'd slipped one time mm-hmm. on my first match i was skipping it, around and i almost ran into the steps it gets dangerous out there it does trust yeah me. trust me and i just have them shoved in their faces these cause <laughs> let me look first of all let me do this cuz i like getting booed on the chat too <laughs> i had these things just shoved in their faces and I had one person reach out to try to grab it. And then, like, a bunch of children started shouting at me that I was an asshole. <laughs> Just start giggling. It's become a thing. I'm trying to figure out all the different boo chants that I've got <laughs> at this point. Because it's, so, it's getting creative. It's getting really creative. So, so, and now you're you're with Uprise. You, you, you work on more. I think you had a, maybe a match or two at the time uh, last we talked. So, yes. different environment. It's your home base. You tra- yes. you, tra- you trained with the stronghold mm-hmm. and everything. Um, and, and so, it's not probably not as rabid and crazy as RWA, but because because what is? Let's be honest. No, nothing beats that. <laughs> nothing beats that. So, but there's still like there's remnants now of RWA uh, fans who are coming to rise. So it's starting to pick up now. Yeah. Um, is that the last rise show? I had a bunch of booze coming out. So. I still, it's still family friendly and some of them want to like me. And then I absolutely ruin that chance by being me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, this is sweet. Someone's going to buy my shirt today. Yeah, shut up, kid. And then you're like, no, I don't want to buy your stuff. And, and we didn't qualify. Like, these are real Emmys. These are real. Oh, these are real. Earned, yeah. Like, yes. outside of wrestling. Outside Emmys. of wrestling, yes. I work in news mm-hmm. and uh, I've won them for my editing. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, these are in both times. I did not go to the uh, award show. Really? And, I, and I've won them when I didn't go. <laughs> uh, the, the first time I won, I was at a Riverhounds game. Actually, no. Both times I won them, I was at a Riverhounds game. Like, capoing. And I had my old college teacher call me to say, you won an Emmy. And the first one, I was like, no. <laughs> I didn't win an Emmy. She's like, no. And then she sent me the picture. And I got a call from my grandmother. And she was, like, boohooing and crying. And I was like... Well, that's kind of neat. And then it finally hit me that I'd won an Emmy. Mm-hmm. And the first thing I could think of was not where do I put the Emmy. It was I wonder if I could hit people in the face with it. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, what you do? And, uh, you have a second one for when the ref takes the first one yes, away. Yes, yeah, well, no, this, I have decoys. Th- and this is the other thing too is those things are sharp. Like we we've been we've been kind of looking at these when when you have those. Yeah, in, yeah. Like like uh, they like I'm where like so when you get to the hardcore part of your career. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to do it during the rev match. Yeah. <laughs> and we'd already had too much stuff going on. And I was like, I'm not going to kill him. Yeah. But I have cut myself on this Emmy mid match before. Um, I went to swing it at Stevie LaBelle mm-hmm. when I hit him with it. And I like I tried to cover it up, but my hand went up here. Oh. And when I hit him, it mm. literally cut through my hand no. and my hand was bleeding like through the rest of that. It's like you got to put safety tips on them. <laughs> Or file them I have down. Have to Jordan or... proof these Emmys? Just child proof them. Jeez. Just child lock. I'll get two uh, earplugs to put on the top. <laughs> but uh, yeah, everyone has been asking me why I don't get fake Emmys. Mm-hmm. You know, to use with it. Um, for one, I like to be authentic with what I have. I don't mm-hmm. like to, you know, fake it out. But they also have a really good deal on replacement plans for these. Oh, really? So <laughs> yeah, that I've signed up for. So I could replace these for literally fifty bucks. If I needed to, like, they'll just send that, me a new yeah, one. That might be along the lines of Beast Man's bone that he keeps breaking, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Except I don't want this broken. No, no, no. I'm sure he didn't either. But 50 bucks is a game, man. You're also, you're also not, like, like banging it off of, like, the, the, the ring post or anything. Oh, if I ever do that, just hit me. Yeah. Just smack, like, what is wrong with you? Like, oh, sorry. I forgot well, myself. A, at one point, even uh, Kurt Angle started, like, he was like, I want, it's my medal. I'm going to have it out there. And then, I was, like, I think he had an incident where, like. Yeah, it got stolen. It got stolen. Mm-hmm. I, I think it was recovered right it was recovered and yep. and he's just and from then on he he went with a a, a fake one from there mm, which so. is why i have two <laughs> <laughs> that's okay i'll earn more <laughs> yeah which is now that i think about that is even more douchey than anything i could ever think of <laughs> and that's just being completely just like genuine like i could just win another one if i wanted to the point. first two were easy the first two were very easy i didn't even go to the award show and i won them there so. you go but now you can never go to the award show. I can't. The last one was in Pittsburgh, too. Mm-hmm. Um, it was on RWA. 
Yeah. Uh, I can't yeah. remember which RWA it was, but um, it was the one that faced Jason Raditz. Mm-hmm. And uh, after the match, I was like, I got to go. Yeah. And I yeah. just left because I was like, I have an actual award show this time. Mm-hmm. And everyone thought I was like, you know, gimmicking them. <laughs> they were like, no, you don't. I'm like, no, I do. Everybody's in the back like, fuck yeah. <laughs> the like, he doesn't fuck? have an award. He doesn't oh, have another Lord. award show. And then I showed up with the second one. They're like, where the hell did that come from? I'm like, I had an award show. <laughs> I won a second Emmy. <laughs> um, we got, we're talking about audience reactions and everything. Dave Pond is out there. Uh, and he saw you up in Springdale, I know, uh, when you had uh, the karaoke off with Keith. Oh, Hot. my God. <laughs> Not even the karaoke off, the barmaid going after me through my entrance, through the great. entrance ramp. Uh, you haven't seen the gift that I put everywhere. Uh, he's out, he's doing his pose, and then the barmaid just uses the entrance. <laughs> the same when I walked through <laughs> like five seconds ago. you just walk through and you're doing yeah. your thing. <laughs> and I just look back and I see her. The guy that was next to me looks back over to her. He's just like checking her out. And he just goes. <laughs> I had no response. I was like, "All right." I went you, to the when ring. You, when you do a show at a VFW, you never know. Oh my god! <laughs> or Elks Club. If she wanted to be a part of the entrance, all she had to do was ask. That's right. <laughs> like I would have been like, "Yeah, come on." And I'll there was like there was a side curtain that everybody was supposed yeah, to go through yeah. that was like staffed to get to where they needed to go. Not for her. And no, she's like she's she like, is more successful than I'll ever be. Like this person just went through. Why can't I? <laughs> Yeah, as if like the guy who's in sunglasses with a gigantic Emmy unknowingly followed you out. <laughs> you like, oh, like, oh, oh, I'm in the middle of the baseball field. I <laughs> <laughs> like, oh god, I don't, I don't know how to pitch. Yes. <laughs> uh, anyways, his actual question is, um, uh, you know, crowd reactions we're talking about. Has anybody crossed the line with the chant for you yet? <laughs> <laughs> I think we're talking about little kids that have. Um, oh boy. So... No one's crossed the line with a chant. A fan did cross the line at one point during me and Red Street Fight match. Physically. Physically, yes. Yeah. Um, this was the big blow off with you and yes. Rev. That was originally, I think, going to be at intermission. And they were like, oh, no, we need to put this like near the end, which was mm-hmm. smart. Mm-hmm. But yeah, um, oh, we'll get to that in a second. Uh, fan chants have been few. And sometimes I don't hear them, mm-hmm. which I think makes people even more angry when I don't respond to them. So then they get louder and then I hear that I'm like, shut the hell up. <laughs> and then that just makes them go worse. I'm trying to think of like the worst things that have ever been said to me. Um, uh, I got said, I mean, I have a lot of people who say the Emmy's fake, Yeah, which uh, is the number one way to set me off for some reason <laughs> this is what immediately gets me into character because you're really Earned yeah, these, so I'm that like, really I, does hit you. I didn't sleep for a year. So you want to feel yours. it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you want to feel it? Nah. I had a uh, child flip me off. Mm-hmm. Um, I had, I got called Antonio Brown at the uh, the Ooh. VFW show. Yeah, <laughs> really? at the Springdale show. Ooh. There was the, these two drunk dudes who um were like trying to be the Muppet old people <laughs> the entire show, and like oh. I shut them down every single time. So uh, I go to the ring and I have, if anyone has ever like seen me wrestle, I have these bright metallic like gold shoes that are like as gold as these. And I've always said I melted down another Emmy to make them, which is why my kicks always hurt. And uh, <laughs> and I'm walking through and this was right when the Antonio Brown stuff goes down there. And he goes, oh, successful black man. Antonio Brown's in the building. <laughs> and wow. I'm like, <laughs> like, first of all, what? <laughs> and I didn't have a response at first. And then, like, I just started calling him, like, no hair. And I kept chanting bald at him, like, on the SpongeBob movie when the king takes his head, like, head off. And every time he would say something, I'd just go, bald! Bald! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, my bald! That's... So I got called Antonio Brown, which was interesting. Um, I think that was the worst. The uh, thing I love about RWA is they don't cross the line. Mm-hmm. Um, like they're very passionate. They're very verbally. They don't verbally. They don't strangely. Cross the line. Yes. Strangely verbally. They don't. Yes. <laughs> yes. Strangely. I don't, I mean, maybe they haven't, I just haven't heard it, but uh, yeah, it's um, the uh, Jordan sucks. It really, really sucks. Chant mm-hmm. is one of the craziest things I've ever experienced because me being a soccer fan, I didn't expect <laughs> to get soccer chants thrown at me. <laughs> and, <laughs> Um, I think that was was that Andrew that started. I that? think Andrew started. That, yeah. yeah, I saw him. I saw him on here. It was big props to him, which was that was awesome. Mm-hmm. I loved watching that. But yeah, way. he was just on um, uh, talking about things on uh, fishing without bait. Uh, it's over on their Facebook page. Uh, but we'll, we'll be rolling that interview out on that podcast on Sorgatron Media Network. 
in December if you want to check that out. Yeah, that was an outstanding interview. Yeah. Like yeah. I loved every second of it. I love watching uh, that podcast. Uh, a lot. Andrew is he's gone through a, a tremendous life change, lost I don't even know how many pounds it was <laughs> at this point. And he's uh, he's been telling a story and and it's been really good. We've also had John Redden on the show talking about his Oh yes, his, uh, yeah. tra uh, trans. Let's say transition, but uh, transformation <laughs> for himself, <laughs> from man to juggernaut. Yes, from yes. man to juggernaut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, transition, yeah, yeah. So and, like, it's really interesting to hear those type of stories. Like, yeah, I mean, I struggled yeah. with weight for a while too, um, before I had to start running laps with Brandon K, and then Oof. that went out the way. Oof. But uh, yeah, oh my God, I'm not looking forward to that match anyway. Uh, <laughs> I remember it was the first match that I had with. Uh, Ron L, I come out. I was already being booed like beyond belief. Yeah, and I didn't even yeah. do much because I just kept screwing him out. Rev, Rev had just turned like baby face. Just yeah. turned baby face. You and then Which, you turn on him to set the record straight on that. <laughs> mm -hmm. First of all, I wasn't aiming for him with that chair. <laughs> I was aiming for Stan Styles with that chair, and then uh -huh. he kicked it in my face. Uh -huh. So obviously, I'm the victim of the story. Mm -hmm. Like I am the true hero of the story. I don't care what anybody says. I'm the hero of that story. Just he's, misunderstood. He's a, yeah, very misunderstood. He, I have Emmys. Why would I be bad? I'm a nice you're guy. You're just a good guy, man. Yeah, yeah. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a good guy. Hey. Yeah, yeah. Hey. Yeah. Well, honorary good guy. Ooh. Yeah, but I, I talked with Noctis. That counts. There you go. It counts. Yeah, there it you counts. Go. Yeah. <laughs> and then I'm, a, I'm your manager, so that counts too. You know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. How is our boy Alex doing? Oh, uh, he's doing great. Talk to him today. He's excited for Saturday. Good. That's going to be a blast. Me and Alex are going to be tag teaming. I don't know if... Uh, Connellsville is ready for that amount of ego. It's gonna happen. <laughs> they, better, they better get ready for it. Uh, if you guys haven't seen this, uh, the great Alexander again, I think he's. I think I've seen like him in three matches, and I think it's the only three matches he's had. Uh, <laughs> but it's yeah. But it's tr he's tremendous for being three matches in. Yeah, it's, it's, it's something it's, about the stronghold, man. Something about like like you know, do, people come out and are just like oozing character like that. You know, it's it's crazy. Um, Which I mean, I can get to that later on too, because that's a. Uh, that was one of the main things that attracted me to training with Brennan K mm -hmm. with that was that, um, you know, you can have all the wrestling talent in the world, but if you can't connect with an audience, it doesn't mm -hmm. matter. I mean, we're talking about like that. I mean, that, that lineup is like, you know, who we just mentioned, you lawless, mm -hmm. David lawless, or just, I mean, has, has the crown in the palm of his hand every time he goes out there. Oh, easily. I mean, yeah. uh, uh, Duke Davis, yeah, I don't, Lee was, Moriarty. Was Gannon was not in that class. I don't think, I think he's an, an older class, isn't he? I'm not entirely sure. I think he was in. I don't know if he was in the same class as Noir. Yeah, uh, yeah. that was before Brandon. But yeah, him, Lee Moriarty, um, all products of the stronghold. Yeah, yeah. You know, and uh, Brandon K has drilled. You know, you can be a great wrestler and all that stuff. You have to connect with people. Absolutely. And uh, the crowd chants, definitely, <laughs> I connect with them. <laughs> not in the way I wanted to, but <laughs> whoops, I connect with them. Guess my, this is uh, where we're at. <laughs> my favorite moment. To this day of RWA was when I eliminated Ronnell. I thought legally from the match because it's part of the rules. Mm -hmm. Sorry, and I run away. It was a rumble, right? It, it was, was a rumble. Battle, it was yeah, a battle royal. It was yeah. a battle royal for a championship match. Yeah, that you had, and he eliminates me unfairly. By the way, I had the sun in my eyes. It was very hot, so I was blinded. And I come in and I push him over the top rope. I go to the other side, and the absolute rage that I got was undescribable. So mm -hmm. I'm going to describe it. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, like I just I looked this kid dead in the eyes and I just went like this and he flipped me off so fast. Like it wasn't even like a thought just immediately. Bam. Screw this guy. And then the child behind him flipped me off. And then his grandmother is like pointing at me like, that's right. You're an evil guy. And notices her son slaps her son. who can't be more than four years old. <laughs> <laughs> it is just like you don't do that and i'm just laughing my ass off all around this thing because like it's it's a great feeling for me just to have people hate me for being me it's great <laughs> uh marcus man corrects gannon gannon jones jr was actually in a larusso class larusso uh, class nice pwx so also. which is fun because um i love training uh with larusso too because he comes up to the stronghold every mm -hmm. once in a while and he is just such a wealth of knowledge it's mm -hmm. It is ridiculous um, how much like different things he has told me has changed my flow of matches. Yeah. Because I used to be really fast. Like I used to just run, run, and then I would be tired five minutes in. And he taught me how to pace myself, him and Brandon Kay. Uh, taught me how to pace myself. Marcus Mann has literally been like the one person who has been helping me 
like a lot mm-hmm. like both personal and in the ring like it's he's an outstanding person like awesome. without a shadow of a doubt and um the one thing that uh because i used to have a lot of performance anxiety like during my first match and the first thing because i'm not used to getting up in front of people like i work with tv all the time i'm used to being in front of cameras not on the other side though and uh i think it was the tag match with tony johnson versus system elite mm. when i had my first chance on rise um and <laughs> i had to work face that match too which was really weird because everyone was still booing me and i'm like come on guys because you've already had several matches that are yeah i had up, an uprise so everyone oh, knew an uprise I was too, evil. that's right but um i was trying to be a good guy that day and um <laughs> They had like they immediately started booing me, and I'm like, "No, guys, come on! I'm being nice to you. You can hold Miami if you'd like. I mean, well, not that far, but you know, I love you guys." <laughs> well, and they're just like, "Fuck this guy! Screw you, boo!" Well, upcoming, you do have a match lined up with your trainer, Brandon K. Uh, That's going to be, uh, I believe, next month, right? Yes, uh, yes. I forget is that the Rise or the Uprise show? That is at Uprise. It is at Uprise. That is the Uprise anniversary show. It'll be one year since I wrestled. I think this last week. It was one year since I actually started. Nice. So to have my year anniversary match against my trainer is awesome. Mm-hmm. Um, he has done a lot of things there recently, storyline wise, that has angered me. Mm-hmm. I believe he has held me back. Mm-hmm. And <laughs> I mean, I get it. He's first. He's first class, and that's awesome. Mm-hmm. I'm so happy for Brandon K. But I think on Uprise, I've proven that I can hang with him easily. Um, I've I've beaten Bray McKenzie. You know, I've beaten Billy Ruxpin in my first match. You know, the first time in the ring, no one really wins their first match. And I was able to beat, you know, Billy Ruxpin easily without help, I may add. So, I mean, I've done all these different things. And I think if Brandon K thinks he's going to get into this ring and think he's going to have an easy time with me just because he kind of knows my twitches, mm-hmm. it's not going to happen. I've trained a lot more without him mm-hmm. than I have with him. So I think this is going to be an interesting match, though he keeps ducking my Emmy hits. So I got to figure that out. I don't, I don't like now. that. I have two now, yeah, but I can't like windmill Double them at wheel. him. Yeah, sure just like, street like Donkey Kong that shit. <laughs> <laughs> windmill of truth. <laughs> just squealing at the top of my lungs. I mean, I'm just saying that, that would work. <laughs> well, would... if you're saying it's going to work, I'll do it. There, there okay. you go. <laughs> Riz may be your new manager. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> hey, though. <laughs> hey, sorry, Ronnie. Uh, and this I'm, weekend, I'm you this weekend, of course, you're part of Rise Pro Wrestling's uh, Inclusion a Revolution. Yes. It looks like you're lined up hanging with the great Alexander, oh, taking on the Destroyo Peyton Graham. And first, first of all, look at these look at these jackets. <laughs> <laughs> this jacket game is definitely one sided. Inclusion's not ready. Like I've seen that. I, I actually he was wearing that at RWA that purple jacket. I had to go up. And oh, feel. I'm like he, I'm he like shown I asked for so I was like I, well actually I'm more warm. I'm like listen, I'm gonna fill your jacket right now. Uh, <laughs> so. Dude, it's beautiful. He has a gold one too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He has a solid gold one which will match my new singlet that I'll be debuting at Uprise. I mean, Peyton's also got a little bit of jacket game, but yeah, kind of in a di- kind of in a trashy, different direction. Man. That's that's not good. Uh, and I can't yeah, wait. Nobody cares about Peyton. Yeah, and no I can't wait to see. No. I can't wait to see uh-huh. what kind of wrestler question question marks going to be. <laughs> He's going to be a dead one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> First of all, let's start with that. I mean, if he wants to get in the ring, that's adorable. I mean, I don't mm-hmm. know if you want to touch greatness in his entourage and the successful saint. Peyton or no Peyton, you're going to die. So <laughs> if you want to get in the ring, cool. Go check out more information about the event with Rise Wrestling with a Y over on your Facebook and risewrestling.com mm-hmm. uh, to get your tickets, see if there's any left there. I know they're going fast. It's going to be uh, a great think, show. Yeah. Um, working with the Special Olympics. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, the show has a special place in my heart because that's what I used to work. I used to work at Achieva mm-hmm. uh, doing home care work. For people with mental oh, physical did some disabilities video work for them yeah. yeah yeah so um that holds a special place in my heart also being around the anniversary of me wrestling mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. um if you guys want to support a good cause with a great company i suggest you go down the stronghold excellent well hey great cause great pe- great great wrestling and uh and now i want to talk to you guys about some great pizza that we that supports the show here uh rents it's like a place on broadway uh supporting pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza they're right up the street here four locations across pittsburgh area and uh and and of course we know a lot of you guys out there are all over the place uh on the west coast in the midwest that listen to this show hell some of you are international even uh but uh you know so we need to help the uh the the global expansion there one location when we first started talking about them on this show years ago 
And, uh, of course, they have four great locations all around the city. So help them grow. If you have a Broadway in your town, take a picture of that Broadway sign and, and tweet it to PGH underscore Slice on the Twitter and say you want a slice on your Broadway. This is our unofficial campaign to help out our good friends that have been supporting us for a while and, and just don't put your foot on the on their door. Please. No, we're not talking about that anymore. We're not talking. <laughs> no, no, just don't. We don't bring that up anymore. Riz, that was the other unofficial thing that somebody else made. <laughs> I mean, I mean, just don't. Although I mean, it was, open the door. I mean, it, it's it's a pull, not a push. It she was put. it was hilarious for like Dave Potter to just take a picture of the not even opened yet location in the east end of his foot on the door yeah. for Slice on Broadway. Anyways, with that, <laughs> uh, you're going to hear a little bit from uh, some other stuff we do here around the studio uh, from Katie, and we'll be back with the big question. Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at SidekickMediaServices.com. We are still here hanging at Sorgatron Media Studios. The successful St. Jordan Styles is here. He hasn't let me touch the Emma yet. No. No. Touch it. Do no, it. Don't be scared. It. Touch it. Do it. Touch it. Hold it. Don't, uh, don't be a pussy. I mean, I know, Starks. I know it's almost 11 like o'clock, it. but, you know, let's keep it PG around. Like That's it. right. Ronnie Starks <laughs> is with us. Hello. Man, uh, manager to the stars. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and Riz is with us as well. Yes. It looks like it's past everybody's bedtime. So <laughs> we got to get to the rest of the show. Uh, the big question. Big question. CM Punk is back. Yay. Hey. That's not the question. <laughs> like me. Oh. So, CM, CM Punk is back? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, he's back, and he's kind of the never never thought he would guy that came back recently, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, never. The way he okay. went out and okay. the lawsuits and everything like that. And, and you can say, quote, unquote, he's not back. Yeah, technically to, not. Technically, yeah. is, 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 but it also who could foresee this situation that they have a show over here that somebody else would hire them on a WWE branded programming? That's eh, not something we thought of like five years ago when this <laughs> happened, right? Mm-hmm. Is there anybody left that and and we'll have to open this up to other promotions like AEW or something? Is there anybody left that would be a big surprise for you to see a back in a WWE ring or involved? Or maybe even we can say, would it be a surprise to you to see X person go to an AEW? I don't think anybody else would be kind of qualified for that. I think the biggest surprise would be Okada in WWE. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That would be ridiculous to see. I mean, quite clearly, the Hulk Hogan slash John Cena event of New Japan Pro Wrestling, mm-hmm. New Japan Pro Wrestling, to see him in a WWE would be insane. Mm-hmm. I would love to see that. I would love to see him mesh up. I would love to see him and Randy Orton trade drop kicks. I feel like that would Jeez. be outstanding. Yeah. Um, yeah. I would also love to see if they make Ro- him put over Roman Reigns. <laughs> that would be really <laughs> interesting to see. But, he did um, have a really bad run with Impact Wrestling, didn't he? He did. Yeah. yeah. Before he became very like short-lived. before he was like super. He was. He was. Um. They, they did like a Green Hornet angle with him didn't they yeah mm-hmm. like like he was kato right yeah yeah because that was how yeah. oh the dark days <laughs> the dark days Yikes. impact wrestling doing fun stuff now i like heel rdd uh, <laughs> 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 let's be honest about this um that's a good that's a good pick that's a good pick i, I didn't even think about new japan stuff I don't know. We've had so much. I haven't even looked across. <laughs> I haven't looked that way. And mm. then, uh, and then, all, in the same breath, I'm looking at my calendar and realize, oh, I have a two day Wrestle Kingdom slumber party. I need to plan. <laughs> oh boy, I know Ronnie's coming to it. Uh, <laughs> Taking that weekend off. Uh, Ronnie Riz, you got anything? Um, Cody Rhodes going back to WWE. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he just applied for the uh, trademark for Dusty Rhodes. I saw. Yeah, too. yeah, yeah, he owes it though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think he, he owns it. Good for him. Yeah. Also, side note from that, apparently uh, AEW also owns the can have a bash at the beach if they would like. Yeah, how did that a, happen? In a bunkhouse brawl. Wow. Uh, really oh. hope so. That means that means they're going to have a King of the Road match soon, aren't they? <laughs> I oh, not. I can only hope it so. also involves Dustin Rhodes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and also the Reaper, the Repo Man, <laughs> Scott. 
Was well, Scott Scott no, Barry Darso? Is that the is that his real name? He's still out there being smashed from demolition. That was the absolute worst match. <clears throat> it was wait, was great. it was it the Rebo Man who did that? I believe him? it was. Yeah. Uh Bunkhouse Buck was his name? I yeah, think? okay, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. That's one of those things I heard about. I was like, oh, I need to dig into the network and see what this was about. Oh, I think Great something. Muda's coming. That was like to, one of the uh, first ones I watched. What, 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 what? I think Great Muda is going to be coming to that uh, bash thing that AEW is going to be doing too, <clears throat> eventually. Bash. I think I can't remember if it's a Joey Janela thing or not. Okay. But uh, I think they're booking Great Muda for that too. Nice. Which will be really interesting to see him stateside. I I had never seen the Great Muda warehouse werewolf trans trans. The transformation, transformation that he does. Yeah. That he does. It's insane. I, we Riz and I it's both saw insane. that at uh, Choke Slam uh event a couple weeks ago and i was just like i've never seen this shit before they were there pulling, i like, love it real crazy japanese shit i've never seen and then he made yeah, somebody bleed all over the they, place and there was the werewolf there's a the werewolf yep and then there was leatherface mm-hmm. uh which even made sword like shocked even more because mm-hmm. i've only seen terry funk leatherface <clears throat> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, and like strangle mania <laughs> yeah <laughs> But yeah, uh, Riz, what about you? I got, I got one. <clears throat> Martha Hart, <laughs> Owen Hart's widow. She's the one who's holding everything up and lets us do basically. So basically, and lets us get Owen Hart into the Hall of Fame. Okay, so basically, your comeback by way of Martha Hart <clears throat> is Owen Hart's. Induction. Posthumous uh involvement in the WWE. Yes. Yeah. He and he'll get in obviously before uh the British Bulldog who has probably like thirty, three hundred at least uh signatures. Uh just that on, was done yeah. for like yeah. eight years by now. Yeah, just, and half of them just on our group. Uh, yeah, and yeah, and, you know, yeah. and and now he's paying people to uh, you know what? Never mind. No, we're, we're, keep, keep going, Sorg. Yes. Yes. So yeah, Owen Hart. I I really wish. Uh, <clears throat> it would be a shock to see that happen. Mm. Like one day, just have Owen Hart being inducted, having him finally get the recognition that he deserves mm. in the Hall of Fame. Um. Agreed. Uh, I have sorry, an update. I put everybody down here. I know, I'm sorry. I have an update uh, because I just <laughs> got I just got a notification that NWA Power Episode Seven has been reposted 14 minutes ago. Oh. Good. So yeah, they finally them. finished their work, huh? That's it. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like whoop. Just you know, take out every moment of Jim Cornette ever. Yeah, yeah. We totally. Cool I, with I wonder that. if there'll be a change to that, or if we're just gonna have a uh, no, discussion with Cornette. Not. You know. Hmm. <sighs> uh, hey, just no, they'll. You, they'll They'll get rid of him, and then Jim Cornette will tell everybody how shit NWA is, mm-hmm. just mm-hmm. like he did everywhere else. Yep, yep, that's how it goes. Hey, Cornette is Thanks. shit. <laughs> God, when he's not when he's not being Jim Cornette, Jim Cornette, he's yeah. great being Jim Cornette, though. I mean, he's a great call. I mean, mm. he is. You know, he is a great call. I, yeah. It's great. And then you like it, it, even going back to the southern wrestling, like a comment like that would come out. It's like, oh, <laughs> yeah. Hey, Disney's having the same problem. <laughs> <laughs> Disney's having the same problem when you go back to some of the old. Uh, uh, how Dumbo has some real wonky stuff in it. They have the, uh, the little, um, like, what, what would you call it? The warning label. Yeah. For the videos, well, the, no, yeah. they don't. They don't have a warning label. It's just in the description. Oh, it's just it's like da da da. Dumbo is a da 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 da. And by the way, there be might be some culturally insensitive shit in here, and like you know, whereas the WWE will pop a notice up, right? Where yeah. they're like, hey, it's the '80s, and we didn't know any better, <laughs> and, you know, or whatever. <laughs> and you know, Disney is just like, oh yeah, and by the way, you I know, wish, I wish they would have put that on Mr. Boogity so I didn't watch it. <laughs> I was like, by the way, we made <laughs> You're this about movie, to watch Mr. Boogie. oops, <laughs> and we felt free to include this and not Marsupilami. Which is pissing me off. That makes no sense. That makes no sense to At me. All. Like, what are I've, what are what is our decision making here? I have no Come idea on. what you just said. <laughs> Don't make me seem sing the theme song like I did on Awesome Cast earlier. What movie like you are you talking about? Marsupilami. It's a TV series that was on NBC Saturday morning. It was a Disney one, and it was a long tale. 
and it was it, he lived in the jungle because he's oh. a monster Lumi and he's uh, jumping oh, through no. the jungle saying woo ha woo ha my super nami that was his is that song. where Busta Rhymes got his like rap for woo ha maybe it was I don't know if woo ha <laughs> was the right word I haven't listened to it I didn't pull up on YouTube this is what I remember from ten year old Sorg brain. So this is what I remember, and it may, I may have it completely wrong, but in my head, it's been an earworm. Like once every five years, it pops up in my head, and I was like, "I wonder what that thing was about." <laughs> and then I'm like, "Oh shit, that was Disney!" And I, I went and co- confirmed it, and then I called them out on Twitter for not posting it. <laughs> I mean, I hate to bring this up since we're talking about <laughs> since we're talking about Disney and things that aren't on the app. Uh, it could be a lot worse, Sorg. They could have put Song of the South. Mm-hmm. No, oh, yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, and that could have like got some serious heat you for know, a lot of people. I'm pretty sure I have definitely rented Song of the South <laughs> when I was a kid. Well, here's the thing about that movie: it's like literally Zippity Doo is Disney's theme song for everything. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and they have a ride based off of that movie, Splash Mountain. Yeah, and all their parks. Mm-hmm. It, like yeah. it's nuts. Own yeah, it. I got they to ride it. that. It was it was really weird. I w- really, I didn't know it, what to expect. Really, it, like are there like direct references to the? They have the animatronics oh, yeah. in there. Wow! So the entire ride, like you go in and it's almost like watching the entire movie, and then yeah. they kill you with that dip. Yeah, they oh. sing the Zippity Doo Dah song, and uh, wow, mm. wow! Literally, Briar Rabbit dies on the ride. Yeah, <laughs> and you, yeah. And you die with Briar Rabbit. Yes. What the? Alert? Fuck? Yes, it's dark. That yeah, ride is dark. Like, this is all like spoiler alert what the, from a movie from like the fifties, sixties. And then maybe? they yeah. take your picture like at like post like horror. <laughs> like you're going down, yeah, and everyone's right. just like, why? Like, literally, literally he dies, <laughs> and then like you're greeted by uh, other animals in heaven. They're singing zippity doo. Here, here, we're gonna well, listen. We're gonna splash you with the water <laughs> and splash you with cultural insensitivity, <laughs> and then take your picture. Ta da, <laughs> Ronnie. What's your idea? Zippity doo da. <laughs> Hey, uh, Ronnie, what ride gets more heat, that or the It's a Small World? Oh, my God. Don't get me started on It's a Small World. <laughs> <laughs> that, uh, you know, for I've been to Disney probably about six times in my life. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I still subject myself to It's a Small World because it's there and I have to ride it. Like, it's a cardinal Disney rule. But, like, my God, it is the worst ride on the planet. I want to drown myself <laughs> in those waters. We, you want to I go over to Splash Mountain and drown yourself with like, yeah. one with prior rabbits? Ago. I went to Disney two years ago and like I wanted to experience the uh, It's a Small World for myself. Oh, it's and I live streamed it. It's still on my Facebook <laughs> of these freaking nuns in front of me singing the song the <sighs> entire ride as I'm like trying oh. to tip it. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I hate this. I waited and I wasted a fast pass on it too. Oh no. Oh, so no. I wait so I didn't oh, know that no. they had the free fast pass at Disney. I wasted it on Splash Mountain. I wasted it on It's a Small World and the Little Mermaid ride. <laughs> oh, because the Little Mermaid ride. because uh my friend Gino loves the Little Mermaid and we, I just wanted to make him happy. So we went to go on the Little Mermaid and I am angrily singing Poor Unfortunate Souls to the point that the parents with their children next to me are scowling at me. <laughs> like I'm in a rage, just like fuck, fuck shit, souls. You better sing that song, girl. Back to wrestling somehow. Uh, Alex says Kenny Omega going back to WWE. What's the development? Kenny Omega was in development for like yeah. Yeah. three months. Yeah, yeah. I, I think it would be interesting to see him. He he would be good. There was a random yeah, that's right. There is a random Kenny Omega match that they pulled out mm-hmm. um, in Hidden Gems like months ago. Yeah, because yeah, he started getting popular, and they're like, hey, yeah, let's, let's yeah. get that money. Hey, that's what you hey, do. We that's, had him. Well, that's what you do with wrestling catalogs. Yeah. Um, <laughs> go to the Wrestling Network. Yeah, that's right. You go check out our YouTube. Watch that stuff. Find out who Watch Wardlow, Wardlow is. Uh, <laughs> it's award-winning. <laughs> it, yes, it, it is. It's award-winning. There's Emmys. That's, yes, it that's is. That's theirs, not mine. Yes, it is. Anyways, uh, with that, hey, Survivor Series is this weekend. Hey. Hey, wrestling. Hey. There's actually some exciting matches in there. <laughs> there? Yeah, I don't there know. Is. But, and, and as Mike will say, but they don't mean anything. Who cares? Um, <laughs> like I would wa- I would rather watch a Nakamura uh, styles mm-hmm. and uh, strong match than a 
It's Bobby you know, Lashley Rusev match right yeah, now. Yeah, but the True. fun part is that match is going to be on the pre show, mm-hmm. and Lashley versus Rusev will be on the main card. This is how it works. I'm Nakamura a, is always on the pre show. I'm away. I'm you know what, man? And I'm, I've, I've said this many times. I, I don't care if it's on the pre show mm-hmm. at this yeah. point. There's some killer stuff that's been happening in the pre show. Remember, kickoff shows gave us WLC. Oh, yeah. And I want to point out, <laughs> by the way, sidebar. I want to point out that at one point we talked about what if there was a WLC match and could we book the main event in it? And I messaged the main event and they said, I don't know what that is, but we'll do it. Uh, and by the way, thanks to events this past weekend uh, uh, having to do with that MMA shoot, we now own a four foot ladder. <laughs> I'm climbing that four foot ladder. <laughs> <laughs> so, um,. Make so my my Make dream of having the main event participate in a WLC match, which apparently will also involve Ronnie Starks, who we already know that they can throw really high. Uh, <laughs> I'll do dude. it, man. So um, if some promotion would like to borrow my four foot ladder in the main event Black Diamond. for this idea, Black Diamond, Rick, I, I want to see it with the Rick. <laughs> Rick, I want to see it with the Pyro. <laughs> <laughs> Wheeling out this four foot ladder with fire going on the sides of it yes. would be outstanding. Yes. Fantastic. Just a wheel steam match inside of yes. the blue cage with. Uh, no, we can't have pyro around the blue cage because it's made of wood. Ooh. Yeah. You yeah. can do it on the so, ramp. So, That's fine. God. You, you can bring out there. sparklers. It's cool. Bring out the Did, sparklers. Have like the old Elimination Chamber song that we used to play. The <laughs> dun, 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 dun. The As it's being wheeled. <laughs> As it's just wheeled into the cage. No, no, any no. If there's any music that should be played at any wrestling show, it's the song from the NWA Power intro. Yikes! Because it's so great yes. and so eighties. It's into the fire. Come on, guys. Okay, I'm done. Come on. Yeah. Book it. Book it. <laughs> Book it. <laughs> Book it. Book it. Book that band. So, so this is how I die. Huh? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah yeah well you did survive war games so um yeah, was the best uh, there was a there was a post <laughs> there's a post with uh becky lynch um she cut an interview on her three-way match with uh shana baszler and bailey which sounds amazing it by the does way sound amazing, like yeah. it's like this is gonna be a, if you love three ways in wrestling <laughs> okay oh man you took that joke right away from me so quick <laughs> That's right. Trying to get ahead of it. Um, it, it, then you're gonna love Survivor Series. It's it's like I don't I because that's what all that's what all night is gonna be, right? Um, I guess we have a couple of singles main titles happening. For we have I believe, is Adam Cole's title on the line at Survivor Series or is it at War Games? Um, I think it's. On, I don't think it is. I think it's on. I think it's on the line at Survivor Series. Is it? Yeah. And He's they're doing, doing um, Killian Dane, um, whatever uh, Punishment Martinez's new name is, and Pete Dunn are doing a triple threat at the next. It's either, at, it's either at War Games or the next NXT, and they'll be competing for the NXT title at. That Star is Series. the thing because everybody's nice. on TV and everybody's everybody's on TV. Everybody's on each other's shows, and we have two shows coming on that weekend. And if it is an NXT person involved, I cannot remember who's in what. <laughs> is where we're at right now. I just know there's a bunch of shit I want to watch. And it's all kind of meshing together. Uh, let's see. Ladder match to determine war games advantage. That's uh, Colin uh, uh, Dijakovic. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that dude. Uh, let's see. Not, we not, have... di- not Dijak. That's Jukakovic. <laughs> the Gugakovic. The Gugakovic. The Gugakovic. That's a weird way Donovan to say that. Donovan Gobbledygooker. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we, we call him the Goog for short. short. <laughs> we're, we're all tight. We're on a first name basis. With him. Yeah. Cool. The best is you know when whenever he gets called up, he's just going to be a di- Dijakovic. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that'd be horrible. Yeah. Jeez. And Co- the reason why they just they extended his name for no reason. I don't know. Mustafa got his first name back. Oh, he did because he got on CBS yeah. News or something. Yeah, yeah, is that why? And they gave him, yeah, and he got and he got his first name God, back. I re- you know, and I remember him being here for Super Indy, and it's back when he did the old, you know, you know, stereotyped gimmick. The old, mm-hmm. yeah, the, yeah, the, that that gimmick. Yeah, it, 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 and even like seeing him then, it was like, wow, that guy's really good. But man, like you know, we've just been through this with uh, uh, 
uh, Davari and and and, and, Muhammad, and, and Muhammad Hassan and everything, which else. was the greatest hill to ever live. I don't care what anybody says Muhammad Hassan was the greatest hill to yeah. ever live. He was good, unfortunately, too good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We are, we were good until the mask guys came out, right? I mean, <laughs> yeah, yes. That's just like no. He's a high school principal, so it's, yeah. Hey, you know what? Cool. Things worked out for him. Hey, good for him. You know, good for, you think I, students still chant like USA at him just out of school? <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. Like he sends it attention, they just go, you know, no, this is America, USA, and they start chanting at him, and he has flashbacks. Dare I say PTSD? Of his mm. time of being tossed out of there's, the ring, there's plenty of people. The entire roster. There's plenty of people that can talk about PTSD from being in WWE. I mean, yeah. I mean, think about. I, I mean, I do remember when Dave Lagana, Chris DeJoseph, and a couple other guys had a podcast after <laughs> they all left. I'm just like, oh, this is just recovery for you guys, isn't it? It was, <laughs> it was the greatest thing. It was the. It might be still out there. It was the We Want Wrestling. Oh yeah, back when yeah. They did the hashtag and everything. Mm. And it was it was tremendous, and and you can kind of tell a little bit when you talk to them now too, you know. So I think anybody that's worked in wrestling has a little bit of PTSD from the experience, to be yeah. quite honest. Yeah. So or live production. Or oh my god, don't even get me started. <laughs> I know. I'm sure we can swap some stories. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um. Anyway, so I, I I don't know what 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 do I need to say? I don't want to do a card rundown on this. Um. Because it's confusing and I can't find a good list, uh, even on their own website. Do we miss? Do we? Do we miss the old Survivor Series format? So here's the thing: I was thinking about that today because we do, right? But to me, that has been dead since 1991. You, you, you killed it for me when you had Hogan versus Taker, because mm. to me it was like, and granted, this is going back to. 10 year old me that was singing the Marsupilami song. Um, but <laughs> you know, it was like, Oh yeah, this is this show. This is this kind of show and you can't have anything else there. Right. Mm-hmm. This is always this format. The Royal Rumbles always last on that show. And then they changed it when they decided to blow up the wing- ring that one time. Like um, you had the ultimate survivor. Yes. You had the an ultimate happened. survivor match. Right. Yes. Mm-hmm. So, and now it's this, and now it's like Becky Lynch <laughs> doesn't even it says there's not even any real stakes to this. There is nothing, you know, there is no, you know, you know, some another podcast was saying somewhere like, you know, what, what if, you know, the, the team that won the night got number 30 at the rumble or the main event spot at mania, or something that like that. Smart. I'm like, they yes. killed it. Yes. Well, and they that killed that bragging whole format. Rights, yeah, I'll say they killed that whole format with bragging rights. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because mm-hmm. they started doing the Survivor Series styles matches on that. Yeah. And yeah. they actually had stakes with that, where like yeah. they got picks for the draft. Yeah. So. And then they went away, and then I'll, when they're trying to describe how great this is. They literally say the word bragging rights, and I'm like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like whatever. It's like, but I mean, you had. You had those moments where it was a big storyline related. Mm-hmm. Then you also had like the Doinks versus the Lawlers. What, yes. Uh, yes. Yes. You had the Bushwhackers <laughs> and and men on a mission dressed as Doink. Yes. I'm still mad I never got a Deadlies vs. Heart Foundation. In a Survivor Series match. Ooh, that would have been nice. I would have oh, loved yeah. that. Like, the original ECW crew of the Deadlies, like, versus the Hart Foundation would have been an outstanding Survivor Jeez. Series match. Like, if there's ever match. dream matches, that would be a, that would have been a dream match. We are getting, while that may not be a special anymore, we are getting two War Games matches. Nice. That's a, true. With a women's War Games. That's going to be ridiculous. It's going to be nuts. It, it, I, I still love that, like, NXT will still take that, hey, we're going to do the double ring setup. It sucks on a production side. Mm-hmm. I and it looks weird, and the cameras are like missing. Like when they're swapping you know, the rings, yeah. yeah. When they're swapping the rings mm-hmm. and everything, so it like, like, so hey, let's just have more of the show be those rings. <laughs> so <laughs> hey, it's a pro- partial problem solved. <laughs> so um, I mean, and that's kind of be. I think that's really going to become the real star of Survivor Series. It has been the last couple of years. Mm-hmm. And um, I mean, to the point where I'm going to make sure when we do this uh, Survivor Series party, I'm going to I'm going to figure out what the time. I'm going to do the math, and uh, we're uh, we're going to be like, hey, anybody that wants to come in like at two o'clock or whatever, we're going to watch that. You know, that's smart. Yeah, most people I know are at indie shows. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, we are. Yeah, <laughs> we, we're, we're going to be exactly. on Saturday night. Um, so you know, and, and you got to watch it. Just avoid your social media Saturday night after the shows. 
and 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 obviously plenty of you guys will be um, pointed out there. Um, so some really good stuff there. Do you think that the dying down of the Survivor Series match could also be attributed to the same factor of Money in the Bank being dialed down to? Because yeah. I miss when Money in the Bank was just a WrestleMania only exclusive match. Um, I liked that it became like a Royal Rumble, like another Royal Rumble event to mm-hmm. me, because it like Royal Rumble was. Anybody can win this. Anybody has a chance to get this. Mm-hmm. Money in the Bank became anybody can get this. Anybody has a chance to do this. Like I like. Uh, uh, go ahead, Sork. I mean, and just I, I think when we, I I don't I can't I can't tell if I like. And again, we're back to brand splits. So who knows what they're going to do next year with it, right? Yeah. Um, when, go, ahead. go ahead. When we started naming pay per views. The matches, yes, like Fatal Four Way, that everything, and TLC. everything, including the Royal Rumble, to a certain extent, even though it's still really good, mm-hmm. it got watered down a lot because you have Elimination Chamber, you have Hell in a Cell, you have all these mat, all these pay per views that have gimmick matches in. Mm-hmm. That water down things like the mm. Money in the Bank, or the Royal Rumble, or tables, Survivor Series, and chairs. Mm-hmm. tables, and ladders, stairs. and chairs, mm-hmm. and stairs, <laughs> and stairs, and and, and mini bears ladders, and, and bears, and oh my. oh my, um, I agree with you. Like, I have a problem with it when, like, hey, we're gonna have a Hell in a Cell match because we happen to have this pay per view sitting over here called Hell in a Cell. And yeah, it's, like, and it's that's like the, that's the best part. And it's the beginning of a feud. <laughs> like the, the <laughs> you best know? part like about that, that is mm. every every Hell in a Cell match starts with either somebody coming into the ring, mm-hmm. or the match spills out into the crowd. And how are they going to keep everything contained? Yep. Oh wait, the pay per view is called Hell in a Cell. <laughs> so they're gonna keep everybody in the cell, right? I want a Pujambi prison match pay per view. Where, yeah, where's my Pujambi prison pay per view? <laughs> Thank Bring you. It back. Yeah, Bring it back. Riz is on this. I'm Bring on it. Back. Riz is a uh, uh, great colleague's hey. number one fan, <laughs> of course. World's largest. Somebody guy. get Black Diamond on the phone. That's right. <laughs> uh, don't don't put a pest Rick. He'll do it. <laughs> only if Zeke Mercer is allowed to be the first participant. Oh yes, uh, yes. That's the only way. And I'll the great colleague's the second one. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I, I, oof, I don't know if a lot of people have heard. I think he's done it on the show. Well, hey, Zeke just got booked for two weeks from tonight. So, Good. Good. Wait, I thought you said no, Sword. No, I said no to the first thing no. he asked. <laughs> yeah, I love, I love he was you. like, he was like, can I come on the Indie, Indie Mayhem show next year? And I said no. Oh, I shared the shit out of that. <laughs> sat, <too. laughs> sat for sat for like two minutes and then said, we we talked about this before the show. Sat for a few, few minutes and said, "Hey, I have December third open if you want it <laughs> <laughs> on the main show, That's not Indie Mayhem either. show. It's not what he asked for, which is true. I don't want him on Indie Mayhem show again until wow. you know he wins an Emmy or something. Can I come and crash it? <laughs> <laughs> if you want, I don't. Yes, <laughs> yes. Show up, hit him with an Emmy, leave. It'll be great. It'll be great podcasting. Like, like, sorry, Zeke, up, this is my up, show now. Miami and just take over the show. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, I'm totally Zeke. Yeah. <laughs> hashtag Zeke Squad. That's why I just put Zeke, Zeke Squad. I just yeah. put hashtag Zeke Squad. I so we can bring Zeke it over once. That What's that? I just want Zeke to do that gimmick we were talking about. Oh, that other one? That other one? We can't. Um, yeah. Uh, we put it out money. in the world. I don't want to put it out in the world world because I want I want people to be surprised when it comes. Nice. Yeah. The world world? The world. I mean, there's the world and then there's the world. Yeah. Like right now we're in the, the world. And we're, we're currently in the flat world, and there's a whole entire world. Yes, yeah. I like the JoJo world. It's the upset. The, the what? <laughs> the JoJo. The world. JoJo. The Zabar. <laughs> 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 it's the JoJo's reference. You can look it up. It's good. What was that JoJo's Great Adventure yes. or something? Bring Bizarre it Adventure. Bizarre yes. Adventure. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Which I'm boy. so glad it's making a comeback. Oh, really? Yes, it's ridiculous. I'm sad. Cowboy Bebop got delayed. <clears throat> Uh, but I have accidentally got Hulu for a month, so I'm watching some Cowboy Bebop right now. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't know Good why man. I just don't Good buy man. this thing on digital to watch whenever I want. Like, I should. <laughs> like, why don't I? It's my favorite damn anime ever. So, I don't know. Okay. It's a lot easier to collect the full thing than Dragon Ball Z, that's for sure. Oh, my God. <laughs> guys! Mm. Girls in the chat room. Guys and girls in the chat room. 
Hello. I'm trying to be inclusive because that's the theme of the week. Uh, <laughs> ladies, I'm single. <laughs> What's that? Ladies, I'm single. All the ladies in the chat room. Hashtag, Hashtag date, Ronnie. date Ronnie. That's not what I was trying to get to. We weren't. We're not at that part of the show. I, I also concur. Date Ronnie. Thanks, buddy. Hashtag Date Ronnie Squad. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> What did you learn from pro wrestling this week? Mm. There I learned a lot nothing... of stupid people. Oh. What's that? There were a lot of stupid people. <laughs> Jim Cornette. From, yes. um, From Jim Cornette to... There's just a lot of stupid people. Side of that, yeah. apparently we haven't learned. No. Yeah. We have not. Yeah. But hey, it's, it's what I was... It's, uh, it's wrestling. It's wrestling. Yeah. Yeah. Ronnie, what'd you learn? <sighs> well, nothing good. <laughs> <laughs> you learned you get to manage me. Well, that's good. Yeah, that's no, that's yeah. Good. you get to carry an Emmy. I'm excited about the Emmy. I'm literally gonna like now cradle it. I'll be like, oh, no, now question me. about that. Yeah, does he have to wear the like the the gloves so he doesn't get fingerprints on it? Oh, I mean, no, no. Ron, Ronnie's clean. Okay. Ronnie's okay. clean. Whenever anybody else wants to touch it, I don't let them. Ronnie's a clean one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Riz, what about you? Uh, I learned that the best way to enjoy a a Rusev and Lana and Bobby Lashley promo is with a amazing Grand Slam from Denny's. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Did we get a you... new sponsor I don't know about? What's going on? Dude, you're sponsored by the yeah, Grand Slam of them all. I'll be very excited. I, I want pancakes. Dennis. Um, No, you didn't see the promo that sponsored the entire segment oh, last no. night? No. It was Denny's. Oh, my God. And everybody on, on the internet blew up. Because when I'm going through a bad breakup, the last thing I want is a Grand Slam from Denny's. Yeah. It'll cure when... all your sadness when the pancakes Jeez. reach your lips. Yes. <laughs> and the eggs are just dippy enough. All Don't your marital problems will be Miami. gone. I'll give Denny's some, some play. I got you. Yeah. Yeah, there you yeah go. I'll do a commercial for them. Like it's. The... I mean, it's like it's not like <laughs> half their menu is just straight trash anyways. Yes, Hey, is. hey, yeah. Denny's is our go-to after like every wrestling hey, I, show. I, because our our shows usually end around like one o'clock. And yeah, well, we're really hungry by then. We, we were really yeah. interested in getting some some real food after the MMA show in like Fletcher, North Carolina, and then we're like, "You went to Denny's? Oh God, there's nothing open but Denny's. We're just oh. doing this again, aren't we?" Oh. Oh. A we North are. Carolina North Carolinian Denny's. Oh, it was oh. an experience. Kind of... Now, also, <laughs> also, Shoney's in West Virginia was another kind of experience. Oh. Whoa. Is that the one? Is that one owned by? Um... No, no. He owns ones in Georgia. Scott Steiner oh. owns ones in in Georgia. Okay. Oh, that's, that's everybody, the same. everybody asked me if it's the one. I was like, no, I don't think he owns a one in the middle of, of, a, of the same, a rest then. stop in in Princeton, West Virginia. Okay. I don't you think that's to the go to Georgia although to get your, to get it, the although experience. every Georgia? time we found a Shoney's in Western in West Virginia, there was also a Southern Exposure uh, strip joint. Why? Oh. I don't know, oh. but it was noticeable. Do they have a partnership? I, that's, that's what we think. Three eggs and a lap dance? It's, yes, it's kind of like every time you see um, that gas station that's in, outside in the parking lot to rise, there's also a Burger King. Oh, it's like, yes. it's like a franchise pairing of some sort, mm -hmm. maybe. That has the little right. Caesars right. inside it. Yeah. The little Caesars Short, inside it. Right, I, right. I, I don't know if it's me being half tired or half awake, <laughs> but now all I can imagine is the Denny's lady. <laughs> At the at that club, <laughs> oh no, jeez. Although we are worried because we haven't seen her for a while. Yeah. Um. Yes. No. No Waffle House. No, no Waffle House. No. 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 Because I went no. to a Waffle House after the Impact uh, uh show we did in Dayton, and I felt very sad. Really? <laughs> I'm, it doesn't feel good to be at a Waffle House. No, Waffle House it is really for when you're doesn't. too poor to go to IHOP. There was nothing out there between like <laughs> Columbus true. and Dayton. There is nothing. Nothing. Yikes. Yeah, and I was like, oh, it's real food. <laughs> is it? Then I was wrong. <laughs> and then I was wrong. That's what I learned. <laughs> That's what you learned. In I was wrong about Waffle House. Hashtag Sorg is wrong. Yes. <laughs> well, I was like, oh, God, give me the energy. 
Oh, God, God in Waffle House, give me the energy to drive home from Dayton. The anti-Disney world. <laughs> <laughs> it's the saddest place on earth. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, and strangely, less uh, culturally insensitive. <laughs> Who would have guessed? Who would have thought? Sacrifice taste for uh, <laughs> quality. It's exciting. Uh, successful Saint Jordan Styles. Of course, you'll be at Rise Wrestling yes. this month and next. You're also at Renegade Wrestling Alliance. Yes, doing seven. stuff there, pissing off the crowd. <laughs> I wasn't there last year, so or week, last last month. week. Last week, Jesus. Last week. Last week. Yeah. I'm like, I, I just started editing. My it days now, are so. my days are running together. <laughs> yes. Point. So uh, look forward to that. And you can see, like I said, uh, his entire career basically at this point over at IndieWrestling.us, IndieWrestling.network. If you're subscribing over there, how you can get the trial and just watch every successful Saint match. Oh, yes. And karaoke. And karaoke. (laughs) And me getting booed immediately after hitting Keith Hot during NSYNC. That's right. That's right. Well, we put that one on YouTube. So (laughs) because Ronnie Starks will also be at Rise Inclusion Revolution this weekend. Yes. Very nice. (laughs) <laughs> that also means you won't be at uh, Angel Gate again. No. <laughs> uh, well, wow. I, I'm not going to say anything else. You get that. an Emmy. Riz also won't be at Angel Gate this weekend. I will not, but I will probably be streaming live on Riz Plays Games. Uh, go there, subscribe to Riz Plays Games, use your Twitch Prime uh, for the free sub uh, subscription, not free. Subway sub. Can we get free um, Subway? <laughs> they, they they were actually a sponsor for the subathon, the the sub no September, which was like you get half off subs subscriptions because Subway paid for half of it or something. But go to go to Risk Plays Games. I'll be playing some more Neverwinter, which is a nice Dungeon and Dragons game. Uh. And also, I will probably be playing more games because that's what I do whenever I'm not working. Apparently, in <laughs> fact, I actually have I actually have what, it playing right doing? now. Where are we looking at? Oh, hey, I have, baseball! I, have, I, have oh, I need to play you. Right I need to play you in this. <laughs> oh, you would probably kick my ass in this. <laughs> Sorg has well, seen me on, on the Brohemoth Invitational. That's right. That's destroying right. Destroying people um, well, in Mario Kart. To be, to give oh, you, yeah. You yeah. were... To give you, give you context, when Riz goes live, his message says, Riz is playing games. He's not good at them, but he tries hard. <laughs> uh, yeah. So... Honestly, that tagline alone, I'm just loving. <laughs> yes. And it's working you. for him. It's really working it's for working. him, actually. It's really nice. work. I, I, it actually is really good. I mean, I, I every time somebody su- subscribes or donates or throws bits at my way uh it does it feels weird like I, 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 you mean you mean this feeling of good and appreciation yes <laughs> oh man it is hot grew two sizes i, that I know it's the opposite of it's the opposite of working on pro wrestling Riz. <clears throat> like it's like i'm playing why why are you watching me play this this is not good this is not good stop it keep it coming though <laughs> That's don't so, stop! That's don't so stop! Messed up. He gets paid, and I get <laughs> yeah. confetti thrown at me by children. Mm-hmm. Oh. No, I don't. I don't even. I'm not even get paid yet. <laughs> no. I haven't gotten paid yet. Yeah. I'm just gonna watch his feed, and I'm gonna go, yeah, 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 like yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You press that X button. Yeah. yeah. I love every time we're on Twitch. I just get like a giant thing of because he has a great Kali um, emoticons <laughs> that you can drop. All right, there. all right, Sorg, you just did it. I would. I didn't do the entire night. Okay. Pointing it out there, you decided to tell me that. I'm about to get that over in the Twitch feed. Uh, <laughs> nice. maybe. I, think, I think we're over on indie on the indie wrestling one right now. Uh, where are we at? I, man, I got a lot of there. You, there, I wow, I'm even on there. <laughs> yeah, you're looking at the side of your head right now. Yeah, I know. <laughs> there I am. I'm like, to I want to look at my feed from five seconds ago to figure and, out I need to get on the camera. Wow, I have, I have a lot of people I'm actually subscribed to, and I cannot find where I'm at. Mm-hmm. So. <laughs> There it is. Most subs, more Boom. problems. Guys, thank you so much for joining us. Please Boom. support our friends. Please support Indie Wrestling. Please support wrestling in general. There's a lot to support. We'll see you guys next time. Hashtag, hashtag date Ronnie. Hashtag date Riz. We'll see you next time. Mayhem out. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.